Hey farm friends, it is the week of May 1st and here is your farm update of the week. So my dad got the tractor out this past week and got it all tilled up, the, uh, the soil worked up and we're ready to plant some sweet corn. So that will be what the next clip is here in a second. Um, he uh, tilled up a nice long um, starter patch here. Um, the he planted 16 rows of sweet corn to start with. So the first variety that we should have um, from our fields is called Obsession 2. And it's an early variety. It'll take around 76 days, give or take, depending on the weather, how much rain we get and all that fun stuff. And um, it's, I believe it's the bicolor, bicolor sweet corn. And what else can I tell you about it? Um, 76 days, early variety, and the first 16 rows. So he does a um, bunch of succession planting, and that is so that we don't just have sweet corn from our fields just for two weeks. So instead of just two weeks of sweet corn, we will have hopefully a month and a half or so. So he put in these um, first 16 rows um, the other day, and then in another week or so, he'll plant more so that we just keep continuously having sweet corn, hopefully for you folks for the summer. Also, well, I can talk about now, um, we got some Silver Queen, I believe, or Silver King, one of those, I think it's Silver Queen. So that'll be exciting. So we're gonna have a white variety just for a short time this year. I'll give you some more information on that a little later. Um, what I did, another thing I had to do this week was I had to repot a lot of um, the plants I had um, still in those, um, those cell packs. So I had a lot of basil that needed to um, be repotted, some straw flowers, um, et cetera. So some of those things I'm just holding off for another couple more days um, until this 40 degree weather passes us. Um, certain plants like um, basil, tomatoes, eggplant, they do not take cold or weather very well. and. Um, I just I don't want to take the chance on that so I'm just um, I'm just yeah I'm just waiting now um, but I did get a lot of stuff planted um, this past this past week so let me tell you a little bit of some other plants I got done while this clip finishes out so I got the bouquet dill in the ground rude Beckia, which is a black-eyed Susan and that is supposed to be um, really 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 good for um, cut flowers. Um, I planted some zinnias. Um, I got yarrow, or I just said yarrow, um, the Dara Ami, which is a false queen Ansley. So that's gonna be like a nice bouquet filler. So I got that planted as well. Um, and then in a little bit, I'm gonna show you um, how I planted the gladiolas. Um, I had a few more snapdragons. So yeah, all was well um, in regards to um, the plantings. Okay, I had to include this clip this week. I was out feeding the chickens and you do not see turkeys mating that often. And it is one of the most awkward um, mating animals I think I've ever seen, just because the hen is so tiny compared to um, the gobbler, which is, it's, it's funny because I see chickens mating all the time, chickens and roosters, and like it's, it, it, they're more, you know, they're more the same size. Well, not in this case. So I just thought, well, I'm going to show you this video because, you know, it's not something you see every day and it is very unique. So <laughs> there you go. I think it's cool. I think it's, you know, so at least I know that some of our turkey eggs are fertile. They all, not all of them are. A lot of the, this gobbler will not let the seems like the, the younger ones mount the hens. So he's the big, he's our big boy. He's the big time stuff. Um, another thing Douglas did this week was rehome the Cherry Eggers and Nico's um, uh, exhibition Rhode Island um, Reds. We had so many issues though this week with them. We had three die and um, oh, so, so just fun stuff. Here is um, one of our broody hens. We pulled a lot of our broody hens out because it just makes a mess with our eggs. Um, but this one has been sitting over, she has 20 eggs she's sitting on right now. So I'm hoping she's gonna be a good mama and um, hatch out some chicks the natural way because we do a lot of incubating here. But it's awesome when they have their own. It, it does a great job. 
Okay, so here's just um, just a view again, just an update about how everything's growing. If you see the garlic, it has really, really took off this past week. So um, yeah, the garlic's looking great still. Um, I think we have, what, three or four beds of that. Um, the strawberries, well, that's not the strawberries, that's the ranunculus. I thought that would grow a little faster, but it's still, no, it's in a standstill. Maybe I need to put some fertilizer on it. This is me thinking out loud. Okay, so next up on the list is my gladiolas. This is the first year I've um, ever planted gladiolas, and I wanted to make sure I was doing it the correct way and um, not having a major fail. So I just spent a nice, uh, nice penny on buying 500 gladiolas, so I would like them to turn out correctly. So um, once again, I've done research on this, and I found out that you need to pre-treat the corms or bulbs. They are called, the, I guess their technical term is corms. And you need to treat them with, um, I'm treating them with a little bit of sevens powder. It's just a quarter teaspoon um, over 10 to 15 of these um, gladiola corms. And what that is doing is preventing um, a bug infestation with a bug called thrips. And I guess that is spelled T-H-R-I-P maybe PTS or something like that. Um, but basically, you're coating them, you're coating the balls with this um, this powder and it's going to keep these bugs away because I do not want to sell you folks buggy flowers. That, that's not on my to-do list this summer. Um, so I am getting these prepped and ready um, to go in the ground. So I am um, counting off a hundred of them and then um, I'm putting these in the ground now. And then in another week or two, I will plant another hundred. So my hope is to have, you know, five weeks or however many weeks worth of gladiolas um, to go into um, our bouquets. So they said that the gladiolas really love a nice, good soaking rain. So um, I planted these, uh, when was it? Thursday, yesterday, and today's Friday. So hopefully they are getting a nice, good soaking rain. Another thing we did this week, Douglas bought more chicken fencing. He fenced in this area um, where the chickens are usually um, grazing around, rooting around, and he bought some um, chicken-loving um, grasses and plants to put in here. So the, the major thing is to try to keep the chickens out. Douglas also got some um, peppers planted this week. He wanted to hold off, but um, we had no choice. They were starting to bloom. Another fun thing that happened this week, um, just today, we got two more um, uh, beehives. So I have a dear friend, um, two of her, a couple of her hives swarmed. So we went over to their house um, this week and got picked up two swarms and hopefully they will work out. So we brought them home. Unfortunately, it had to be in this cold, rainy weather, um, but giving them sugar water and we're hoping that they will pan out so that was a big that was a big big win for the week so yeah everything is everything is um going good for the most part so that's all for this week um next week is going to be another huge week for us we have so many um plans to get into the ground lots and lots of different cherry tomato varieties slicing tomatoes heirloom tomatoes um peppers you name it we got lots and lots of stuff um, to get into the ground. So I'm so excited to show you that. I just love this time of year. We went from um, two week, uh, two months ago, just think back in February, March, we went um, from these teeny tiny seeds to now plants that are almost blooming. Um, so it's just, it's just a wonderful time of year. And um, yeah, so, so looking forward to showing you all that next week. And I know the weekend's gonna kind of be like a little bit of a bum because of the rain, um, but just hang in there. I keep telling my husband, <laughs> it seems like it's a pattern. I'm like, just three more days of cold, dreary, dreary days, and then we'll have the sunshine again. So I hope you all have a great weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all you mamas out there. I'm a mama for a mama of four kiddos. So I hope you all get some type of rest or um, relaxation this, this upcoming weekend. So you folks take care. Have a great day. Bye.